this video, we're going to learn how to address each other in Vietnamese effectively. Vietnamese has a reputation of having difficult personal address, but it's still possible to use Vietnamese in an effective way with some of the most common kinship terms. To address other people and ourselves, we use eight terms. These terms differ based upon gender and age gap. We call someone gong when he or she is a lot younger than us. They are about the same age as our child. We call someone em when he or she is quite younger than us. They are about the same age as our younger brother or younger sister. We call someone an when it's a male and he's a little older than us. He's about the same age as our older brother. We call someone ji when it's a female and she's about the same age as our older sister. We call someone ju when it's a male and He's quite older than us. He's about the same age as our father. We call someone go when it's a female and she's quite older than us. She's about the same age as our mother. We call someone on when it's a male and he is a lot older than us. He's about the same age as our grandfather. We call someone ba when it's a female and she's a lot older than us. She's about the same age as our grandmother. For example, when I talk to an old man and I know that I am a lot younger than him, I am about the same age as his child or grandchild, then I will call myself gong to him. Another example here is when I'm in a shop and I see a lady and I need her help. I might be younger or older than her, but that's not important in this case. In this situation, I need her help and I want to sound humble. So I will call myself M regardless of our age gap. After knowing all these terms, we will be able to greet other people in Vietnamese, which is over here.